guys welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be a full lower body after workout stretching video if you're new to my channel make sure you click that subscribe button to join the family and follow me on my socials okay so let's get straight into this workout or video so i'm going to be showing you guys a lot of dynamic and compound and just overall stretches that you should be doing after each workout Okay, so I feel like when it comes to stretching is one of the most overlooked aspects of exercising and whether it be before or after working out, it's really, really important. I'm also going to do a before video um, of what I do like stretching and warming up before I work out because I feel like it's almost the same, but it's a little bit different. There are different uh, warming up um, exercises that I do. So I'm going to be posting that probably next week or a few days from now. So for those who don't know the benefits of stretching before and after a workout, it increases flexibility, improves blood circulation, eliminates lactic acid, um, it does stuff like boost your energy obviously, um, it prevents injury and pain. Um, another important thing is it improves range of motion so when you're doing exercises such as squats and hip abduction or pretty much anything it helps you to go deeper into the exercise which will also help you get more gains um, another thing is it gradually slows down the body and it increases muscular coordination which is really really good um, also just stretching in general is honestly like a mental mind body connection thing you all obviously like feel relaxed when you're done so it, that's really important but again like there's so many benefits that you get from stretching whether it be before or after again Okay, so I know probably some of you are going to be like, Annabelle, why are you wearing a waist trainer and da 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 Okay, so you're going to have to watch till the end of this video to know why I'm wearing the waist trainer. Um, like I said, you wait till you get to the end of the video. I'm going to be explaining everything. So for me personally, when it comes to stretching, whether it be before or after, I like to take a good either 10 minutes or 10 minutes to 30 minutes of stretching. It really depends. For example, like if it's leg day, I'll do more of that compared to if it's like upper body day, then I won't do that much. And also it depends depending on how sore I am before I get into the workout. Because if you're sore, you should really be deep stretching and all that just before you start working out and also my tips when it comes to stretching would be um, hold each pose or stretching exercise for a good 20 to 30 seconds and focus on your breathing a lot of the time i tell my clients when i'm helping them stretch is to take deep breaths and do the stretching because it'll, the breathing does make it easier and obviously sometimes when you stretch you're gonna be in pain and in to improve flexibility you're gonna have to go a little bit over your comfort zone so you're gonna feel pain regardless Another thing I want to add to tell you guys is 
you shouldn't be leaving stretching only for before and after working out you should be including stretching into almost your daily activities because if you're a person that struggles with back pain or lower upper what it doesn't matter pretty much any pain in general in your body stretching does help you and it makes it easier in your daily activities so like i said you shouldn't just be work- stretching only if it's before and after working out like you should be stretching on a regular so it definitely helps especially if you're a person that has a job where you sit down a lot um actually comment down below if you guys want me to do a separate video on um like exercises that help or stretches that help with mobility flexibility and stuff when you're an office person or somebody that goes out a lot but yeah like i said you should be stretching whether it be before you work wake up or before you go to bed Also, another thing is if you're a beginner and you're starting to learn how to stretch and stuff, um, obviously you are going to feel discomfort and pain, but if it gets too much, then stop. For me personally, what, because I have a history of doing gymnastics and ballet, for me, I'm honestly not scared of the pain, but obviously sometimes like I need to listen to my body and sometimes too far is too far, but yeah, that would probably be the another point is don't be scared to go past your comfort zone but at the same time listen to your body if it if you think it's too much then stop Another thing I want to point out is when you're doing stretches, little things like see how my foot when I go back into the position, my foot is raised up. It's not in pointy position. The reason why you want to make sure that you have your foot straight up is because it kind of stretches out the ligament, kind of your heel basically at the back versus when you're doing pointy. But even then, honestly, you should be doing both. So alternate between pointy and doing your foot straight if that makes any sense.
Also, throughout this video, you'll kind of see me rock a little bit back and forth or in a way like bounce into the stretches. The reason why I'm doing this is because in a way I'm trying to go again like deeper into the stretches. If you're a beginner and you're doing these, I recommend that you don't really do these or if you do, just do them really slow. Like I said, for me with my history of um, ballet and stuff, that's what our my teachers and stuff would do so you can go deeper and basic it hurts like hell but I, again if you're a beginner just take your time okay
okay so these i'm honestly just fooling around don't do these if you're a beginner again because you will what you absolutely will hurt yourself so don't be doing this okay Okay, so now I'm gonna get into why I was wearing the waist trainer. Now, I'm gonna make a whole separate video, and like I said, I'm trying out this whole journey thing where from a trusted source, so this girl, I know I'm not gonna say her name, but basically what she did was she would put Vaseline or or like coconut oil or sweet sweat or pretty much any type of oil base or something that would make you sweat around your stomach and then you would wrap it with um, saran wrap and then you will wear the waist trainer now this is probably like my third time wearing it and it's like it's not any crazy difference other than the fact that it just makes you sweat like in your midsection obviously but I feel like that's just water weight and bloating and again like you're just sweating it out and like i've said like i've told you guys in my past videos in order to see abs it's 90 95 percent made in the kitchen so a lot of people like to do everything except eat right and work out to get results but again like there's no way around it in order to get abs you need to you need to have make sure that you eat right and have a low body percentage fat okay so again i was just trying this out because a lot of the time when you're a fitness person a lot of stuff is going to be trial and error you know so and again you guys always ask me about waist trainers and stuff and like i said i'm going to make a separate video going into depth about it and explaining why it doesn't work and stuff like that but yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and who am i of breath please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to see the, to see more videos and i hope to see you guys in my next video i love you guys so much bye Okay.